What's up you guys, we're back with another video today and welcome to the V12 Swap Miata project. So to do a recap on last week, you saw that you were, if you knew you wouldn't have seen, but you should go back and check it out. So we were dealing with a couple of broken bolts and there were two of them. So since another hole was drilled next to the main one, I'm going to have to put a solid insert in here, which is fine. And then I'm going to take like that plastic steel, whatever, and just put that in there, file it down just so that the surface is level again and we have a nice uh, flat surface to seal the sump with. So I've taken a 6mm nut, I've drawn it out, you can see, and I've ground it down so that this can fit over this broken bolt, just like that. And now I'm going to weld this bolt onto this nut and hopefully we can turn it out. the first bolt broken bolt that we've extracted had success you can see that's where it broke inside then got jammed up but after welding it on the welding and nuts on we managed to get this off okay so now this one on the gearbox is going to be a little bit more difficult just because we have limited access so I'm going to decide if I'm going to use my MIG or TIG machine and my game plan is the same as the other one to weld a nut on this and then see if we can turn that out. See, by welding on this actually helps a lot since this gets, since the bolts inside you get heated up quite a lot. So that really helps. So I have this nut welded on here, and that's going to be the first attempt of turning it off. And just from experience, usually the first time doesn't work. So we're going to try it, and if it doesn't work, I know what else to do. You guys, it doesn't usually happen on the first time. There's three failed attempts. So I'm hoping that this is going to be the last one. I've got this nut tacked on here, but now I'm going to use the TIG machine instead of the MIG. See with the MIG, it just jams a whole bunch of wire in there. And it's a lot more difficult to control, I guess you can say penetration. So I'm going to get the TIG out and see if I can get this. See what the problem is, these nuts are still pretty hot. Get the one that's not too hot. Okay, so the problem is, this nut isn't welding nicely onto, onto, see I welded a piece onto that bolt. So that's now, that broken bolt, I welded a, uh, I put some weld on there. So now this nut isn't welding quite nicely on it. So you can see how much space inside this nut isn't welded. So now with a TIG, it's a lot more precise. I'm hoping to get better results with the TIG. So I'll get busy with that and I'll let you guys know. Success with getting that nut welded on there nicely but now it just won't budge so <laughs> I almost got a feeling like that broken bolt is going to be in there forever and I've actually managed to come right with those so on the sump I put a solid insert and that came out mint when I was telling you guys about that solid insert that's it right over there. It's almost as if this hole was never damaged by putting in that insert. And like I said, I was going to put some plastic steel in there, but I don't think it's necessary anymore. And then on the gearbox, I had to extract that other bolt. And, and unfortunately, my usual method of welding a nut in there didn't quite work. That bolt was in there so tight. So I think maybe the combination of a whole bunch of Loctite, like thread locker, and with the bolt being bottomed out, I think that was causing the issue with not coming out but anyways I managed to draw that out and tap the rest of the bolt out so our threads are looking sweet and now that adapter plate is fully bolted on as it should so now that that's out of the way we can actually move on so I had mentioned that I had forgotten to put an oil drain plug on the oil pan that's fixed now well it's not entirely fixed I still have to weld that bung into place but now 
that issue is figured out so we can also move on from that and it's just these small things that are stopping us from actually dropping the engine in and bolting it in place bolting it up to the gearbox and letting it live there but it's all these small things guys you know it's the devil in the detail it's all those things that we've got to figure out first and get done with those before we can move on so this is that process and as you saw from the picture i uploaded yesterday that intake is looking so sweet so I use kind of like, I guess you can say a candy apple red, but it's not really candy apple. It's more of like a, like a candy color. I don't know if you guys have seen that new Mazda, well it's not that new, but that Mazda, I think it's a CX-5. It comes in that beautiful red. It's pretty much the same color as that. So that's painted and the valve covers are going to be the same color as that, as well as the sump. So it's not really such a bad thing since i have to respray the sump with all the welding that i have to do on it that's really not the end of the world and i think it's actually going to turn out much better than i originally thought it was so guys now that you guys are up to date i think let's just get on with today's video and let's get moving okay guys well here's our new oil drain plug i still need to cut this out and weld this piece somewhere onto this oil pan i don't think it really matters but before I do that i'll check things out just to make sure that there won't be any issues with that guys and just like that we've got our new oil pan drain plug welded in got this very nice bolt let me show you it's super nice show you why you want to use something like this as you can see there right on the end it's got like a taper so that's going to allow it to seal nicely everybody involved with this sort of project knows the suffering what it's like to have to wait before you can finally get your dream engine into your project car 